In today's video, we're going to pick some delicious fruit, forage some wild freedom seeds, my bike is going to take a nap, and we're going to teach a can to dance. Two years ago, this would probably be more valuable, but... I mean, if it was only one or two, I wouldn't even bother, but that's worth picking up. careful because I can get down this but Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should have downshifted a long time ago yeah I know where this road goes and I was just thinking the back tire on this bike does not have enough traction to get up where I'm going so we need to turn around anyways that's what got me. That edge kind of bounced me off of that right there. Boing. And it just sort of skids. Ah! Nice. Did we break the box? No, we did not. We need to get out of here. It doesn't look it on film, but this is just too steep. This bike is not set up for quite this kind of stuff. And I'm, I want to... Uh, Get back on the main road, find a place to stay for the night.
All right, I'll give you a quick tour of camp. We've got the road coming in there. We've got the motorcycle parked in a very visible spot, so hopefully nobody will drive all the way down in here and run me over in my tent. That's in the flattest, about the flattest spot here other than the road. And we've got a little fold-up chair, which is nice after riding all day. Got my boxes, which I'm going to use for my kitchen setup. Pretty low budget here. I've got my $16 Ozark Trail junior size tent that I bought probably 10 years ago. It's on its last leg, but it's served me very well. I do have to sleep diagonally in it, but it works. Although it probably needs to be replaced pretty soon. The poles are getting to where they're cracking. I've had to repair them. My green bag from my military sleep system, some extra clothes for a pillow, and then just a about a $35 air mattress. I've had that for about 10 years also, and it works great and very comfortable. Yeah, enough room for the jacket and my helmet, my riding gear. Keep the bugs out, keep the frost and dew off of it. So yeah, that's about it. I'm going to set my kitchen up and get some dinner going. I'm very hungry. Got something I haven't tried before, which is always dangerous when you're on a motorcycle. If you get a sour stomach or something. So I was at Grocery Outlet the other day, which is kind of a, I don't know, a, a budget grocery store. Anyways, they have this pre-cooked rice, this coconut rice, pretty good. Just heat it up and eat it. And this stuff here. That sounded kind of good. And with that, I'm gonna add some smoked turkey that I've made. We usually do this a couple times a year. We'll get a turkey and either roast it or smoke it and then divide it up and portion it and put it in the freezer. Keep it for lunch meat, and dinners, and things like that. So anyways, let that make a pretty good dinner. All right, this is a little funky, but water's boiling. Just crack this open so it can vent. Get all the rice down, and there. It works pretty hot. Oh yeah. Smells a lot like curry. A little bit of our turkey. Still slightly frozen. Give that a few minutes and then dinner should be done. Well, I've made a bit of a mess. Of course, do that at home too. That's gonna, I'm gonna knock that right off. Add a little bit of rice to this. Let's see how this turned out. Oh yeah, that's still plenty hot too. See that? It smells pretty good. Just a bit like curry. Let's see how it tastes before we do that. All right, let's give this a taste. Hmm. It's pretty hot. Not spicy hot. Actually, it's not very, I thought it was gonna be a little spicy. It smells a bit like curry, but it's not bad. It's actually a little bit bland. A little bit of mushroom there, some turkey. The turkey's pretty good in it. It's a lot better than a freeze-dried meal. I just, I, I never cared for those. Super thankful to be out here right now. It is the perfect weather for riding. Had a really good meal. The only thing that would top that off is maybe a dessert. Late June in the Pacific Northwest, we can find something. Come on, I'll show you. Hopefully you can see this okay. That's a wild strawberry plant. And if you look close, that's a wild strawberry. That one's not quite ripe yet. 
That one is. Been munched on by a bug, but that just that happens out here in the wild. Very small, but very sweet, and they're worth the time to pick. So they're small, takes a while to pick them, but there's tons of them. They're all over the place, pretty much everywhere you look. Ooh, that one looks pretty good, nice dark red. So there's one of our strawberries. Like I said, they're pretty small, but... Mm. Mm. They're amazingly sweet. Way better than the stuff you get at the grocery store, those oversized ones. These are... My favorite thing to do with these is put them with some vanilla yogurt. They're really good. They're also really good with oatmeal. You can dry them, any number of things. Mm. Mm. Those are so sweet. Well, we've had our good day of riding, beautiful weather, had a good meal, even had a little dessert. Now we just need some entertainment. years ago I picked up one of these little slingshots just four times like these. I also carry a little bag of clay ammo, biodegradable. Lots of fun. And of course we're going to pick up our trash before we leave. It's really nice right now. Got a little bit of a breeze. Not too windy. Quiet. It's kind of weird not having a fire, but sometimes it's nice just to uh, relax, not do a bunch of work. Got a little chilly last night, but it wasn't too bad. Definitely ready for some coffee. A bit lumpy, this ground. Well, this has never happened before. I've run out of butane, but it should be hot enough for some coffee. Well, never had that happen. Actually ran out of butane. <laughs> At least there's enough for one cup of coffee though. Well, the nice thing about moto camping, you don't have quite as much stuff as you would truck camping. Once you get a system down, it goes pretty fast packing up. This bike's been a little bit hard to start. Let's see how it does out here. Do about half choke. All right, 
battery on this bike was really weak. I had to add quite a bit of water to it and charge it the other day. And ever since then, it's been starting way easier. 